ruler of the Midhaven being in Scorpio, that signifies slowly working to achieve. This is a crypto coin birth chart reading for Cardano, and I hope you enjoy. The date of Genesis for Cardano is November 20th, 2015. We're going to start off with the sun and work our way down. So the sun is in Scorpio at 28 degrees. Next to Mercury, next to Saturn. I am also a crypto consultant and would be honored to help you on your crypto journey. If you have any questions, issues that you need help with, I am here. My links are below. They're all in the first house of the chart showing a limitation in the trading. If the sun was not next to Saturn and only Mercury was next to Saturn, that would still be limiting, but because the sun is next to Saturn and Mercury, there's a limitation in this company and this blockchain. Limitation in the company, in the way that it trades. The sun is also squared to Neptune. Neptune is in the fourth house. Neptune is in the house of Pisces. This is a strong house because Neptune rules Pisces. So this planet is in its home sign. Neptune is those illusions. It's also transactions. Neptune sometimes explains some things that cannot be explained. There could be just things that are unexplainable that cause a challenge with this company's foundation or the blockchain's foundation, the people who have created this company. The sun also sextiles the north node in the 10th house, another very important house. This is in Virgo. Virgo represents the work, the daily work that this blockchain does. The 10th house represents the how the world views this. It's the top of the chart. It shines the highest. It's the brightest top of the chart. This is good. This is positive. Cardano is paving the way, making a mark on the world. Moving to the moon. The moon is in the fourth house, a very important house in the sign of Pisces. Pisces is a water sign. The moon, which rules cancer, another water sign. It's very watery. There's an emotional element to this blockchain. The moon is next to Chiron. Chiron is that wound. It's the wounding in with the moon is the people. It's, it, Chiron is healing a wound. People are healing. People feel that this company, this blockchain is healing something. They're gravitating towards it, towards Cardano because they feel like it's healing something, making something better, fixing something. Perhaps it's a blockchain that's bridging. It's, it's maybe bridging things, bridging things from the old way of doing it to the blockchain onboarding that's maybe the word the moon is opposite to jupiter in the 10th house so this fourth and 10th house is very important 10th house again is the midheaven the top of the chart it's opposite to jupiter the people the traders the investors jupiter is expansion so somehow the traders perhaps don't like the way that the company is expanding or the direction of the company. They have something to do with the expansion of Cardano. Pisces is a water sign. Virgo is a earth sign. Perhaps people's view of this coin and this blockchain is different from what it actually is. And because of that, they are causing an impact in how the company expands. They could also be shaping how the company expands and then when they don't like it, it needs to shape itself differently, move in a different direction. That's challenging because the sun is 
the most important planet, then the moon, and then Jupiter. So the fact that the moon is opposite to Jupiter, that is, that is limiting. That is a cause for concern. Jupiter is also the longevity of it. I don't want to say it's not going to have a longevity of a life, but there's something with the traders and the longevity of this company and how it's being affected. The moon is also semi-sextile to Uranus in the fifth house. Uranus is in Aries, very powerful, fiery. This is showing a changing, there's a, a sudden changing in with the traders and the emotions of this blockchain and company in a positive way. So as much as they can limit the expansion and the finances of the company, they also have the power to change it. So the people really have a say in this company and blockchain, which is good because it's decentralized. We're working towards decentralized. So this is actually, it's, it's, it's a, this is good, even though the moon is opposite to Jupiter. That will give issues. But with the sun, the moon semi-sextile to Uranus, showing the people have a say in the expansion and they can move the prices of this coin or the direction of prices. The moon is also sextile to Pluto in the second house. Second house is finances. Pluto's in Capricorn. This is transformation. Transformation of finances again the people are transforming this coin they're transforming the finances of this coin the, the trading of this coin Pluto is very it's transformative it breaks things down all the way to their core to be reborn this Cardano could go through some deep transformations again with from the people the Midheaven is in Leo. Midheaven's in Leo, so the ruler of the Midheaven is the sun. That's very powerful because the sun is the most important part of this chart, of this company, of this blockchain. So we went over the sun before it's conjunct Mercury and Saturn, squaring Neptune, sextile to the north node. So the fact that the sun rules this company I believe it's showing it's very strong, really in the Midhaven. It's a strong blockchain, strong company, people who have created this blockchain. The only biggest concern is the sun being next to Saturn and Mercury being next to Saturn as well. So positive thing is that the sun and Mercury sextile the North Node, making a mark on the world, carving a path, doing something new and different, having an impact on the market in crypto as well. Saturn is a restriction though, and a limitation. And the moon is opposite to Jupiter. There's a limitation in Cardano. The sun, the ruler of the Midhaven, being in Scorpio, that signifies slowly working to achieve. Because the sun is at 28 degrees Scorpio, that's where the first house starts. So the rulers of Scorpio are Mars and Pluto. Mars is sextile to Jupiter, which is showing Mars is the is volatility in the market. But because it's the ruler of this first house and it's sextile to Jupiter, that is very harmonious aspect. Mars is in the 11th house. I don't know if I just said this. It's in the 11th house. It has to do with networking, socializing. Very energetic. Networking abilities are energetic. Mars is also in conjunct to Neptune in the 4th house. 10th house, 4th house, very important houses. It's signifying the expectations what is real and what you expect to happen and what really happens. There could be some issues with this in this project. This project has gone through various changes and upgrades. 
and I believe I know in the beginning people thought the upgrades would be quicker and sooner than what they took they took longer than people thought and then maybe what the founders thought it would be so this could have something to this does have something to do with that and perhaps with other upgrades along this project so the i the expectation of what to happen and what actually happens could be different and cause some issues pluto is the other ruler of this first house pluto is in the second house is square to uranus that's sudden transformation, sudden movements, just suddenly, sudden, sudden, sudden transformations, changes within the blockchain. Pluto trines Jupiter in the 10th house. So the finances suddenly transform, they suddenly change. They can quickly change up or down. But with Pluto also trining Jupiter, it's as if these sudden transformations and challenges are helping to expand the project. Like it needs to go through these transformations, deep transformations and changes in order to grow and expand itself price-wise, project-wise. So when there are strong Mars and Pluto transits, those will be key to watch to see how price is gonna, it's gonna be an indicator of the price movement, strong price movement. Mars transits and price movements is quick. It doesn't last for very long. It happens quickly and then it is over. So it could rise up quickly and then go down just as quickly. But they're quick moving, transits get the mars neptune midpoint line remember if there is a planet or a point on this line at the time of creation that is a very significant indicator of the company so the midpoint line is at 20 degrees gemini and 20 degrees sagittarius okay, so there's nothing on this line which is good so that means that the if there was something on this line, it would mean that the company is doomed for failure, but there's not anything on this line, which is good. When there are planets and points that cross over these lines, you'll see the prices go down. It'll be a challenging time for them. With Saturn and the Sun being next to each other, that causes a lot of limitations. But I feel that this company is going to to go through many changes, which it does because it has the Byron error and all the other errors that it's been transforming and changing through. I believe that Cardano is a good project, but it's a slow and steady project. It's not a get rich quick coin that's gonna shoot up to $100 overnight. It's gonna have its highs and lows, sudden quick movements, highs and lows, but it's going to progress slowly which in the long run is not a bad thing. It's just not a coin that's going to, again, shoot up to hundreds of dollars overnight. It will take a while, especially with the sun next to Saturn. Key dates to look out for for potential price market movement of Cardano. I put smiley faces and um, thumbs up or thumbs down to signify if it was a good transit or a positive transit with potential price movement up and a thumbs down if it's potential price movement down. I tried to make it as simple as possible. So August 16th through 21st of this month, it's gonna be very challenging for the price of Cardano. Sun in conjunct needle Mars, transiting Sun in conjunct North Node, Venus Retrograde, it's trining natal Uranus, but it's retrograde. So there is potential for negative price movement. It could surprise us. So I put the questioning face because Uranus is unpredictable. But with the surrounding transits on the 16th, 18th, and 21st, 
it's surrounded by this negative, excuse me, challenging energy. And on the 21st, the sun, uh, transiting sun squares needle sun. And then a little further out, September 11th has potential to be a really positive day because Venus is now direct sextiling natal Venus. And the 15th Pluto retrograde is trining the natal sun. So I put a questioning face and a thumbs down because Pluto is retrograde. It's going to cross back over and trine the sun again. And I believe that will be a more of a positive day. But for this day, the 15th, it could go negatively. Watch out for it. It's just something that you're going to have to watch to see. September 20th, Venus direct, trining natal Uranus. I believe this will be a very positive day. And then we have November 5th, Pluto direct, trines the natal sun. I believe this will be a very positive day crossing over the point where it was on the 15th. And that's it. That is Cardano's coin reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you would like more of these readings, come over to my Patreon, join, and you can request a different coin to be read for and other very detailed information that I don't post on other platforms. I am also a crypto consultant and would be honored to help you on your crypto journey. If you have any questions, issues that you need help with, I am here. My links are below and I will talk to you guys soon.